I'm Carol DeVellis, and I'm playing the character of E.M. Ashford, who is the, was the college mentor of Vivian Barry. I was diagnosed with breast cancer um, the beginning of March 2011. I felt the love. I was very bad, and I will say to women, don't ever be as bad as I was. I missed my mammogram in 2010 because I just got busy and didn't do it. The show is beautifully written, and I think that it is very much something of hope. E.M. Ashford is a, a, a professor who specializes in metaphysical poetry, with particularly John Donne, which is what got Vivian Baring going on him. She's a very bright person who looks at life with humor. She takes what's said, I think, in, in the poetry, particularly of Donne, and reads into it the fact that there is so much more to life while you're living and after you are no longer living. As, as she says, death is, is, is just a come. And then from there you go on. And so I think she is a, a brilliantly optimistic person. In going through the rehearsal process for wit, there are a myriad of emotions all the time. Um, it brings me back feelings I had when I was going through chemotherapy. In fact, I wasn't going to read for this play. But I knew what it was about, and I knew that it was something I wanted very badly to see. And once you'd read it, you just knew there was something you had to do. You just had to do it. To make it, to take to people and give back maybe something that so many people gave to me for such a very long time. Out of having had cancer, I learned that, that there is, even in the worst of illnesses, there is humor. And even in the darkest, most depressing times, there is joy to be found in, in reading things that are uplifting and in talking to people who are People are just wonderful when you allow them to be. I look at Drew and I think, okay, you're getting it right because yes, she's got the humor. She also has the exhaustion that comes with it. Um, so you think about all those times and then you think, wow, this is such an emotional show, but in a beautiful way and it imparts uh, such a feeling, I think, of to people, and I think somehow doing the show is helping me work through a lot of the emotions I know I had when I was going through cancer, and at that point you're just too cruddy and sick to actually think about it, but it's a lot I've thought about since. I said to myself after I had cancer and after I started to get back from, from the chemo, which was the worst part of it, um, I said, boy, I never forget how totally marvelous it is to put my feet on the ground and be able to walk around with energy and with the light again. And I never want to lose that feeling. This brings back my delight in my health and it brings back my joy in being able to, to do theater and share with people what this feeling was like. So the experience I had, I think, has given me a grace and a 